So here in Final Cut Pro 10, we're going to have a look at how we export our transparency from one of our videos. So we're just going to do a quick animation um, and we're using this star here. So essentially what we've done is we've gone up to our elements up at the top left here. So you'll normally see your library, um, but if you jump to the right to the little T and the generator icon, um, we'll find our generators and our elements and we've added a shape layer. So if you drag down a shape layer, um, then you can modify it. So once you've got your circle um, dragged down to the timeline, you can go through the options, make it a five-sided star, um, change the fill color, we've changed ours to a nice pink, um, change the outline color, and then you've got some options for whether you want the corners to be square, round and beveled, and that type of thing. So have an experiment with those, but what we're really interested in here is how we can do a little bit of animation and then export that out um, so that it keeps the transparency when we're working with this in Final Cut Pro. So just to illustrate this a little bit, and we're going to come back to the beginning of our video clip here, and we're going to turn on the rotation and scale keyframes. And then we'll come to the end of our clip and we'll add a keyframe at the end for rotation and scale as well. So now if we come back to the beginning, we're going to scale this right down. So I'm going to send the scale down and I'm now going to change the rotation. So this is rotating around a bit. So essentially what we have is this, which is a little bit slow, but you get the idea. So we have a very slow animated star. Let's speed that up a little bit. So to speed up the animation, we're just going to right click on our clip in the timeline and go to show video animation. And we can extend this out a little bit where we should see those two keyframes that we've added and we can just pull those closer to the beginning. Really, you probably want to animate this over a few seconds rather than over the 30 seconds that I animated it foolishly at the beginning. So now if we play this back, it's still a little slow, we'll just speed this up again. Just pulling those keyframes back. And we have a star that animates into position and stays in that spot. So essentially that's what we want. We don't want this to be 30 seconds long. I'm going to shorten that a little bit. And so with this layer here, um, I'm going to zoom in a little, move back to the beginning of my timeline, which I can do just by using the scroll bar at the bottom here. I'm going to hide the video animation. And really I had the video in the background just to show that there is transparency for this layer, but actually we can drag this star down to the main timeline and I'm going to delete this video. I don't need that. So essentially what we're going to export here with the transparency is this rotating star in a format that's going to keep the transparency. So if we come up to our share options at the top right here, hit share, we're going to go to master file. And here in the settings, we're exporting out um, for video only. We don't have any audio. So whether you export video only or video and audio, it doesn't matter too much. Um, we're going to export out this format, Apple ProRes um, 4444, and that's going to keep the transparency of your video when you export it out. So we don't need to keep any chapter markers or anything like that, but you can leave it checked on or off. It doesn't really matter too, too much. So we'll export this out, click Next. We'll call this star with transparency. And so that's exported now. We've got a successful export. I'm going to delete this from the timeline now, and I'm going to come back to my libraries here and we'll add some footage to the timeline. So I'm going to pick out the same piece of video that I had before. So I'm now going to jump to the location I exported that to my computer and we've got this star with transparency movie and we can drag it straight from the desktop down to the timeline and you'll see now that once we jump back into Final Cut Pro that because we've used that Apple ProRes 444 format um, we've got this star that is now animated and it keeps the transparency of that video. So now if I hold down the Alt key, I can quite quickly make many animated stars. And if we, okay, so you can see them animating one on top of the other there and we could change the location, work with them um, and that type of thing. Um, so if we quickly grab the move tool, we can position them in different spots and we have many pink animated stars 
with their transparency coming onto the screen. But the key is really that Apple ProRes 4444 setting um, that will keep the transparency when you export out from Final Cut Pro 10. And it means you can create lower thirds, it means you can create other graphic elements. So thanks for watching, I hope that's been useful. And if you have any questions about Final Cut Pro 10, then don't hesitate to leave a message below and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.